In my first Mobile World Congress video, I said there would be a hands-on vlog, and so in this video we have a little bit more of the hands-on footage we took at MWC for five specific items. We'll have brief hands-on with Firefox OS, the Sony Xperia Z2, the Asus Padphone Mini, the Qualcomm TOC smartwatch, and the Samsung Gear Fit. These hands-on aren't meant to be a full-on review, but to just give you a flavour for a few different things. First up, Firefox OS. Firefox have been developing their smartphone system for a while now, and it's got huge potential, but also with a market dominated by Android, Apple and Windows, a daring place to go. The Firefox OS is very similar in behaviour to Android, and very intuitive to use. The design has a slide to unlock bar, circular icons, and is pretty easy to pick up. The marketplace has plenty of apps already on it, which means at launch, Firefox OS will have some of the most useful and popular apps and games for people to download. With the announcement of a $25 smartphone, alongside a more expensive range, I think Firefox OS is going to be a really interesting competitor in the smartphone market. Next up, the Sony Xperia Z2, which Sony announced at MWC. The Z2 has a bigger screen, is thinner, allows you to take 4K video, and has built-in noise cancellation. Alongside that, it keeps a lot of the features that the Z1 had, such as being waterproof. Sony have also worked on the integration between the Z2 and their smart bands and smart watches. The new LifeLog app logs the music you are listening to, the calories burned, where you were, what you were doing, and all sorts of other things at a particular time. It also links to your smart band to detect your sleep. And if your heartbeat suggests that you're ready to wake up a little bit earlier than your alarm, it will set it off early. The Z2, in all honesty, didn't feel that different to the Z1 but the Z1 was a really good phone after all. The one thing that did stand out was the 4K video, which when plugged into some of Sony's big screens looked incredible. Next up on our whirlwind hands-on tour is the Asus Padphone Mini. I never expected to be surprised by an Asus product, but the Padphone Mini did just that. The concept is simple. It's a smartphone which you can dock into a tablet to use on a bigger screen, thus saving the need for two data packages and two completely separate devices. It also potentially gives your phone a longer battery life and lets you make phone calls from your tablet. The combination of the two didn't make for a thick, heavy or bulky device. In fact, the Padphone Mini felt really nice to use. The docking process felt seamless and well designed, and the touchscreen on both the tablet and smartphone were really nice to use, with relatively little lag. Finally, we checked out two smartwatches, which was really interesting as I haven't quite understood the need for them yet. We were demoed the Qualcomm TOC smartwatch, which is compatible with all Android devices. This smartwatch has a nice colourful interface and an OS that is easy to pick up. The lady who showed it to us said it had up to 10 days battery life, and then it had technology which meant in light places it didn't require the use of a backlight. It had a customisable interface, the ability to show you call and message information, control your music, show stocks, weather and a variety of other things. It was really nice to use and being compatible with all Android devices and its long battery life make it a serious contender in the smartwatch market. Last, but by no means least, we tried out the new Samsung Gear Fit. Out of all the smartwatches we tried, this was probably my favourite. I loved the curved design and the crisp display and I thought it looked really good on. I also liked that it combined the idea of a sports band and a smartwatch, meaning you don't have to buy multiple devices. The interface was easy to use and it seemed to have plenty of useful features, and especially useful alongside Samsung's fitness apps. All in all, there were some really great products at MWC, and it was a fantastic chance to try out lots of them and find some that really impressed us. I hope you found this video useful and I will see you guys again soon.